I've been asked to keep it short, so I'll read. <laughs> yes. The thing where it talks about saving our democracy, the spirit of June 4. Is democracy about elections? Is it about peaceful transfers of power? Yes, but that's not all. The spirit of June 4 talks about the courage to stand by your convictions. As members of the NDC, as cadres who take their roots from the June 4 uprising, do we have the courage to stand alone if we have to? If we all believe in the same principles, then we are not alone, we stand together. And if we stand together, we are stronger. I'll stand on previous protocols for brevity's sake, Your Excellency. The late Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings did not commemorate June 4 because it was fashionable. Nor did he celebrate June 4 because it was politically expedient. As a matter of fact, there were times when he could only gather a handful of people to support him in the commemoration of June 4 because it seemed like nobody really wanted to be associated with it at some point. But he was very much aware of the symbolism of June 4 and the importance it plays in our history as a nation. It's somewhat ironic now that a form of amnesia has happened where people have forgotten the chronology of where we are today that they behave as if we went from independence to the Fourth Republic. The mere fact that we are the Fourth Republic tells you that there have been several interruptions to our constitutional rule. However, the fact that this Fourth Republic has been the most enduring is a testament to what the principles represented. This is your legacy, be proud of it. Do not allow anybody to shame you about your history. June 4th is your legacy, and that is what resulted in where we are today. So be proud of your legacy. The story of the 4th Republic cannot be told without the 15th of May, the 4th of June, or 31st December. Our history and the lessons learned are still on the minds of many of those who are above 50. However, unfortunately, because too many people have been silent about our history, too many people under the age of 44 are not aware of the context of the 60s, of the 70s, of the 80s, and of the 90s that gave birth to this republic. This is the reason why events like this are so important because we are fortunate to still have some of our comrades here who can tell us about what was really happening at the time. Not sugarcoating the truth, not trying to change history, are telling us exactly as it was. And the purpose is not simply for a history lesson. It is for us to know who we are. Because if we lose our identity, then we cannot represent the people of this country. When the people of this country look at us, they look at us knowing that we hold something that cannot be bought. We hold something that is more precious. But we cannot do so if our younger generation do not know the values and principles that we hold dear, that took their origins from the June 4th uprising. Comrades, the pillars of good governance are what are protecting our democracy. And among those are inclusivity, respect for the human rights of all citizens, Responsiveness of a government to your needs, which means that it shouldn't be when it's time for a by-election that they come and fix your roads or give you water. Accountability, social justice, integrity, equitable distribution of resources, not just resources being sent to somebody's hometown. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1982, 
the National Commission on Democracy was formed. This was an agency under the Provisional National Defense Council. This was many years ahead of 1992 elections. In 1984, Justice Diafanan, who subsequently became the Speaker of Parliament, was appointed the Chairman of the National Commission for Democracy. In 1985, this agency was officially launched and it made way for our Assembly elections in 1988. Let it not be lost on anyone that the genuine intention of Fred Jerry, Jerry John Rawlings was to transition to an enduring democracy in Ghana. I will quote an excerpt from his speech, which was given in anticipation of the 1992 District Assembly elections, where he reiterated the PNDC's policies and strategies with regards to decentralization. And I quote, steps towards more formal political participation are being taken through the district level elections that we will be holding throughout the country as part of our decentralization policy. As I said in my nationwide broadcast on December 31st, if we are to see a sturdy tree of democracy grow, we need to learn from the past and nurture very carefully and deliberately political institutions that will become the pillars upon which the people will be the people's power will be erected. A new sense of responsibility must be created in each workplace, in each village, in each district. We already see elements of this in the work of the CDRs, the 31st December Women's Movement, the June 4th Movement, the Town and Village Development Committees, and other organizations which the voice of the people represent. Comrades, we have many examples across Africa and across the world of heads of state who refuse to leave power. So if people are telling you that Jerry John Rawlings was not a Democrat and did not want to leave power, we shouldn't be here today with so many other transfers of power that have happened since he left. He respected the constitution and the form that it was presented after the consultative assembly. He didn't change it to suit himself. He did not extend his term limits. He did not increase the number of years of his office, his term in office. That is the sign of a Democrat. That is the sign of someone who truly wants to build a foundation for an enduring democracy. Today, every few years, we have our district assembly elections. This is an enduring legacy. This is your legacy. Be proud. Do not let people look at you and tell you that you're any less a Democrat than they are. We are the ones who gave birth to the Fourth Republic, and we must be proud of that. Let us prove to the people of Ghana that the NDC is truly a child of the revolution. In what way? By adhering to the principles of integrity, of accountability, of transparency, and of all the principles that we hold dear. Let our speech, let our actions reflect those principles that we claim to hold dear. Let the younger generation see us and understand that this is the party they should join because we hold those principles dear, that we cannot be bought. We are the products of the revolution, we are cadres of integrity, we are foot soldiers of truth, and we are comrades of probity, accountability, and development. If we are to protect this democracy, then we need to ensure that we are prepared for 2024. We do not walk away in the face of difficulty. We stand together. We do not turn our backs on one another. We protect each other and we do what is right but we don't encourage wrongdoing in our midst. When the thing is wrong, we must be able to say it's wrong and we must deal with it. Any team that is to succeed must have discipline at the core of everything they do. And so comrades, this is the moment where we must remind ourselves of what matters to us as a people. The people of Ghana are looking to us. We must set the example for them. 
because 2024, in spite of all the machinations of the NPP, must be about truth and integrity and hope for the generation ahead of us. And so let us represent that. Let that flame that we see burning, burn in our hearts. And when we speak, when we act, let people know that indeed we represent the ideals of the revolution. And those ideals are those of courage, of truth, of integrity, of responsiveness to the people, of representation of the people of Ghana. Let us be the voice of those who have no voice. Let us speak the truth for those who are afraid, because that is what these, rep these uh, principles represent, and that is what June 4th is about. The, democracy, the democratic principles that we want to protect, the democracy that we're looking to protect, we cannot do it if we all walk away. It is our numbers that will prove to those who are trying to destroy what we have that we will not allow them to do it, nor we will allow them to get away with their wrongdoing. And so stand together and let us celebrate this 44th anniversary and rededicate ourselves to those principles that will make sure that we win the election. And our flag bearer is here, our leader of the party is here. We must commit ourselves, not just to him, but to all those who are representing us in our various constituencies. He needs our majority in parliament if his job is to be successful as a president. So remember that we don't want anyone deciding that you don't want to support our parliamentary candidates. Let's work together and ensure that we have a sounding victory in our presidential and parliamentary elections of 2024. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.